Now, uh, starting from chapter 5, we are going to use second templates like this. And to handle these templates, I think you should know certain kind of features in, in Word. Uh, the first of all, to make sure how many lines you can you should have between these two lines or something like that, and the indention. And even in this case, uh, the indention for a new paragraph is not it cannot be done by just pushing the tab key in your keyboard. Okay, so you have to measure it. And before starting anything, I want to just emphasize one thing: in this format, the first paragraph of each chapter, uh, there is no indention for that. Right, you start right away, and no space between these two. But starting from the second paragraph, there is a small indention, and it happens for uh, chapter, or we can call it section, right? and subsection or sub subsection no matter where it is right it just always apply the same rule right the first paragraph no indention but the second third uh, and the fourth so and it's, everything has indention like that okay so please make sure that and to check that part and to make that kind of indention uh, first thing we want to do is go to view and one of the checking mark is for the ruler. Okay, so look at it. There is nothing in there, but when you click it, it shows this ruler. Okay. So when you look at ruler, you see how they manage each line. Okay. By look at these sliders. So title and authors and even abstract using this length, including key keywords. But when you go to the main part, then you can see these slider positions are changed, right? Can you see that? And in this case, we have a two-column system. So when you click this part, it only shows that sliders. And when you click second column, you can see the sliders for the second column only. And when you look at that, you see a small difference between these two sliders. But when you click here, there's no such thing. And that's how you can make it. So uh, whenever you need to make some indention, all you need is push, sorry, two spots of the upper slider. Okay? Then you can see they have same uh, indention, right? Something like that. And if you don't want it, you can just bring it back to click the upper slider for each. Right? So that's how you can handle that. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now the second one is uh, you see when I gave you my review, uh, it always shows how many lines and how many enters or something like that. And I think I already gave that information, but let me explain one more time. Go to File and Option, then inside Option you can choose Display and one of the choice is show all formatting marks right? so when you click that uh, okay, and click OK then you can see all these markers right so this means there are two empty lines and one empty line okay, and another one empty line bef be between the subsection and sub subsection right so we have two empty lines uh, before every section and another two lines before subsection but only one empty line before sub subsection right so, but same thing here so that's how you can check for yourself okay? so these are not uh, main concern here uh, so let me change back to clean up a little bit for this display and unmark that, click OK. Okay, the main thing here is uh, whenever you want to place a figure or table, number one suggestion is place them into one column, right? Each column. Okay, so it's much clearer and easier for us. But some cases, like some table or big figures, uh, is too, it makes too small if you try to put them in one column. And then we need to put that figure or table uh, cover the two columns all together. Now, then in that case, 
in, in most uh, journals and articles or uh, proceedings, they don't want to see your table of figure in the middle of this text part. Usually they suggest to put that figure or table at the top of each page. So once again, you don't need to place your figure or table right after you mention them. No, some case in this case you can do that, right? But that kind of big cases, yeah, then you should go to the next page, right? So let's say uh, you're gonna mention that big figure here or later. So the best place in that case is placing in this part. Okay. So this is how you can do that. Click your cursor at the beginning of that first line in the first column of the page and click insert and one of the choice is text box. Okay. So you can you can find a different version, there's always such a thing, right? So click that. And just a simple text box is good enough right now. Okay, like this. And right now we don't know how big that picture would be, right? But you can just dragging like this. Then strange thing is still you can see this text over here. Okay, so don't panic. It's already select the format for the text box. Okay. Then go to wrap text. And one of the choice is top and bottom. Okay. So can you see how it's changed, right? If I select, there's no text on the right hand side of that uh, text box. Okay, so click that. That's how you can remove any text around around this text box, right? So it's only top or bottom. Okay. Now, now then we can place this box centralized. Okay. So make sure that line is matching the top of this text box. Okay. So it's enough. And we can change this size later, so don't worry about that. The key point is we want insert our figure in there so select this part and go to insert and select picture and this is my choice click insert button then the figure is in there now at this moment it's up to your choice uh, how big this picture should be in there so you can you can arrange it just pushing down up okay and change the size of it like that, right? So don't worry about the background, just change the format and don't worry about the position. Just make sure you got the right size of this figure. Okay, after you finish it, then there are two kind of figures for the figure itself and the text box. Okay, you have two skills like that or rectangular shape. Then click the text box one and make sure it covers that whole figures. And once again, you don't need to worry about arranging this one nicely. Okay, so just make sure this text box is centralized in your page. Okay, so if you think that is enough, or you can make it smaller, it's up to you. Just cover the entire figure. Then arrange the position and make sure this is center of the text box is in the middle of these two columns. So I think it's well centralized. Then click this middle one, the, the actual figure, and right click. Okay, or I mean whenever you select that figure you can choose this one, right? Can you see that? Because of the choice Actually, you can centralize this figure within that text box. That's the first thing you have to do. Second one is, when you click this one, you can see this, this top of the figure is actually has some extra spaces. So you have to remove that extra space by clicking this one. Okay? So no space between the text bar uh, text uh, text box top top of the text box and top of the figure. Okay, so this is the, the two things you have to do, right? 
centralize your figure within the text box and remove that extra space at the top of this figure. Now, it's done. It's, it's going to be centralized in the entire uh, page, I mean the two columns. Now, the next thing is we need to put the caption, right? So still it's selected, but make sure once again and hit right arrow key in your keyboard. Then you can see there is a cursor appears, right? So once again, when you select your figure inside the text box, hit right arrow key in the keyboard. Then you can find the cursor is blinking on the right hand side of your figure. Hit enter key. Then because this is centralized, right? Like that. So when you hit enter, your text will be also centralized automatically. So you don't worry about anything. Just type in figure one. This is a Koban. It's one of my favorite uh, game. Anyway, so that's the title. So it's done. Now, the only thing is, usually we want to place one empty line between the figure and uh, the text part, right? But if you just place like this, there is no gaps right there. And we are going to remove this box shape, right? The boundaries okay, later. So we have to make sure there is one more line there, which is, can be done by this hit enter there. Okay? Simply enough. And of course, make sure there is no empty space before or after, right? Okay, so that's good. So you have one extra spot. Then click on this text box boundary and right click. Then one of the choices is format text box, select it. Then colors and lines. Right now the, the color of the line is assigned to black, change to white or none. And click OK, then you're not gonna see that boundaries. So when you look at this, it looks like we have nice one line, empty line between this figure and the text part, and that entire figure, including caption, is centralized and covering these two columns all together. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful whenever you need such big table or figure.